Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. So today on the Fitness of Albert channel, I've got a slightly different video for you. So I'm going to be kind of giving a sort of review of the Bodymax 36 kilogram 18 in 1 dumbbells. So the reason why I'm doing this is basically I've bought some. So I've bought some. I um, created my own little gym at the start of lockdown. Um, I'm a personal trainer, dancer, performer. So I have a background in dance, but then I've been a personal trainer alongside that for the last four or five years now. And I just knew that kind of back in March when the lockdown was going to happen, that I needed to like, you know, have some sort of weight. So I bought some of the stuff that you can see behind me, like a little squat rack, um, some bumper plates. I've got like a row machine and all that sort of stuff. Um, but like, I've been really annoyed with my kind of like, hang on, I'll show you. So I've been kind of like using these, you know, the old, old faithful kind of spin lock adjustable dumbbells. And they're kind of good, like, you know, they get the job done. However, um, it's just a bit awkward to kind of get weights um, that got kind of heavy enough for me, or you have to spend ages kind of spinning them on and off. So I decided to treat myself after many months of doing personal training in my garage and struggling with these kind of, uh, you know, pesky dumbbells to buy myself a pair of the Body Max 36 kilo 18 one dumbbells. So uh, this is just a short video to basically show you what I think of them um, and have a little bit of a workout at the end that you can you know, follow along with, whatever you like. So here we are. So as I say, I'm super excited about them. Um, they're literally outside. So let's go, let's go find them, shall we? And bring them through. So here they are in all their glory. So they are, as you can see, probably quite large. I mean, that is a chair and that's how big dumbbells are and that's one dumbbell per box. So all I've got to do now is take them into the gym and then unbox them. And as if by magic, they're in the gym. Uh, so obviously just gonna open these bad boys up. So I got these from a place called Powerhouse Fitness. I've used them before for say all my other stuff here. So again, just before lockdown, um, I managed to get all of my bumper plates, the barbell, uh, I got like some kettlebells, I got uh, battle ropes, I even got one of these um, like landmine drop things which I thought was quite useful to have. So I actually do use it quite a lot and it's just, it's just drop that inside one of my 25 kilo plates and it's got a nice anchor. Um, but I quite like their stuff and also it's not too uh, expensive. I mean, I say that, um, not too expensive. I mean, these dumbbells are about 640 pounds, which I know sounds like an outrageous amount, but if you think for a pair of rubber dumbbells, uh, if you're looking at like just a pair of 36s on their own, like no adjustable, um, they're probably going to be about 200 pounds for a pair. And especially if you go for kind of like, you know, rogue or kind of really top brown ones there, it can get really, really expensive. Like a full set of dumbbells is probably looking around 1500 to 2000 pounds and then you need the rack for it so for me like i don't have a massive gym and i'm actually moving in a little while so i'm probably going to have like a small garage gym um it's going to be perfect just to kind of have like you know a set of dumbbells that go all the way from two kilos up to 36 so um yeah there i would really would you know that's my reason for getting that's why i justified it to myself that's such a great expense 80 pairs of dumbbells, 600 pounds. It's only like what, 32, 33 pounds a dumbbell? Bargain, bargain. Uh, right, anyway, I'm gonna crack on with opening it up now. Not sure what the best way of doing this is. So, some nice instructions there for me. Oh, and it, it also, quick pause, does come with um, a kind of holder stand for them as well. So the idea is you kind of drop these in and then you can use it to kind of you know, adjust it. Um, you can get like a kind of higher stand to use for them. Like you kind of, you know, an actual kind of rack or mini rack, but it was about another 200 pounds. I just couldn't really justify it when, you know, I can lift them off from the floor. So yeah, if you feel like you've got the money there, you want to get them, uh, get yourself a little rack as well. And that's one down. 
around, so I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me just drop the drop the camera down. There she is, dumbbell number one. Bring her a bit closer in all her all her glory. So quite a massive thing. It actually just feels quite sturdy. There's like a little bit of a rattle. I guess that's to be expected. Um, you know. Uh, they are interchangeable, but hopefully, I mean, they feel quite sturdy. Um, I, I don't reckon I'll want to drop them, but uh, looking very good. And also, like, what a, look at that. Look at that meaty, meaty thing. So that's one down, just making sure there's nothing else in the box. So for all of my American friends out there, they're 36 kilograms. So that's around just under 80 pounds um, in terms of weight. So not the heaviest in the world, but Again, you know, I can take these to my clients' houses, so they're, they're a nice investment for me to use for myself and also for my clients um, when I'm doing one to one. And as I say, you only need one dumbbell then, uh, sorry, one pair of dumbbells rather than having to carry around loads. Um, yeah, onto the dumbbell number two. Have it. So there we are, two lovely little body match dumbbell set. 36 kilograms, quite heavy, it was a bit of a struggle getting them even just from the pathway over to here. Uh, but they're looking good, they are absolutely enormous, um, but I'm looking forward to trying them out. So let me just tidy up quickly and I'll see you in a sec. And I'm back, having tidied up a little bit. I mean, I need to go for a bit of a hoover, but other than that, it's all right. So time to try them out. So I'm just gonna you know, show you how they kind of like the, the adjustable bit works on them. So I'll do a bit of a zoomed up version afterwards, but essentially having just looked at the instructions and thrown them over there, uh, I've got like two red clips here. I push down on those clips, which releases the kind of mechanism. I can then twist the handle to select my weight, and then I click it back into space, uh, back into place, and then I can lift them out. So the only downside with these is, is that they are as long when you're doing six kilogram as when you're doing 36. So if I'm trying to do so like an Arnold press, with two of them, it probably is going to get in the way. In fact, I'll just quickly have a quick check. So if I draw it out, put it on, just a nice light watch to test it. Yeah, so it's a bit, yeah, not ideal. So quite large. However, obviously the idea is that I'm going to be using these mainly for like single arm rows, flies, chest presses. Um, they feel quite good again, a, li a little bit rattly. So I probably would suggest that if you're doing um, perhaps doing things like snatches, it probably is better to have like a proper rubber dumbbell. Again, these won't be as robust, so I'm going to make sure that I don't drop them because they're although the plates are metal, it's made out of like a kind of um, uh, fiberglass like holder, so quite strong, but might shatter. So again, I want to be really careful with them. And then when you pull it back, you can just slide it gently back into the place, and then you can adjust it for your next. Wait, so again, it's really, really quick actually. So when you get the hang of it, you just slide it, if I can get it back in the hole, back into place, take the handles, and then all of a sudden you can work all the way through your range of exercises. Again, much, much quicker than say these spin lock ones. Uh, again, you know, you're there for ages. You know, if you're not the best at maths, you've got to try and figure out exactly how much weight you're putting on. Whereas with these, it goes literally up in two kilogram increments. Um, easy. So also what's good about the two at kilogram is, you know, some of them you see on the market. So I did look at quite a few of these. Um, like again, one of my clients, I can't which ones they are, but they only go up in like five kilogram increments or 10 pound increments. So if you're trying to go, you know, increase on like a fly or a bicycle curl, like five kilograms is quite a lot on each side. Whereas these only go up in say in two. So like, you know, four pounds increments. So you can actually get a nice way of like progressively increasing the weight without having to go like crazily heavy straight away. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So quite a nice adjustment. Again, if I want to play around with them, uh, I'm gonna have a play with these myself and then I'm gonna get ready for the gym um, and then I'll go through a nice sort of upper body workout that's just dumbbells only, just so we can put these bad boys to the test. So see you in a sec. And by the power of cinematography, I'm changed and I'm ready for my workout. So sadly, I actually had done upper body the last two days in a row. So I did back yesterday and I did chest the day before. But I thought, because I've got these new dumbbells, I'm not really going to break them in with legs. So it's a good excuse for me to skip leg day. Don't skip leg day, kids. 
uh, and try a nice upper body workout with dumbbells only. So starting off with some incline presses, incline flies, you know, all the dumbbell exercises you can imagine. Um, yeah, so follow me through. So what I would say, I mean, they feel really good. Uh, like when you've got a lot of weight on them, they're not really rattling, especially just for like a kind of normal standard like incline press. Um, but when you've got quite a lot of weight on it, if you balance it actually on the end here, it kind of digs into your legs, so it's not the most comfortable. But I imagine when you've got say all of the stack on, like all of the weights, all 36 kilos, you have a bit more whip, so you can kind of balance it a bit nicer on your leg. So what I'm trying to do is, trying to kind of rest it on this kind of archy bit there. And again, it just takes a bit of the pressure off because it's not particularly comfortable when you're trying to uh, get up to here. But certainly much better than my spin lock dumbbells. They were literally like a horrible, you know, that thin circle, you know, one inch circle digging into your leg. And if you had like 30 or 40 kilos on it, it did leave you a bit of a bruise the next day. But no, they feel really good, so chuffed after set number two, um, on to the next. So like, despite their size, they do actually feel really nice. Like, even when I'm lifting these like above my head, sorry, like for a fly, like a long lever, even though they're quite chunky, they actually feel like surprisingly compact, does that make sense? Like, I used to use these metal dumbbells and I don't think they were like balanced very well. So it used to like hurt when you do the exercise. This actually just feels really nice. They say they feel really balanced. So yeah, really loving them so far. Exercise number three. Working a treat with the old dumbbells. Beautiful. Well done, Body Max. Reverse fly. So hinging over at the waist again with these, because they're quite large, it's a little bit difficult to kind of get them in the right position. So it might be better lying on a bench, but from here, I'm just gonna have them slightly to the side and then lifting up and getting a nice contraction. I guess the good thing about them is they make you look like you're lifting loads of weight, even though these are only about 15 pounds. So good for the the Instagram pictures, and as you can probably hear, there's a little bit of a rattle, but it's not too bad, and as, uh, the heavier weight you use, the less I seem to get that rattle. I'm a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride They're pretty good. I'm, I'm biased, obviously, I bought them, but they are pretty good. And they actually feel and look like actual dumbbells, like I've seen some of those power block ones and they just kind of look really weird to me, and I'm sure they take a little bit of getting used to with the balance, but the grip actually feels good. I mean, a little bit cheap plastic on the handle, um, but it still feels like a kind of nice grip on there as well, so I don't feel like I'm gonna just slip out of my hand at all, uh, which would be a disaster with these, because as I keep saying, I feel like you need to give them a little bit more care than you would have rubber dumbbells, so definitely no kind of like chucking them onto the floor, but. If you look after them, they do feel robust enough that they're going to last a long time. Uh, and hopefully you won't see me making a video in a couple of weeks going disaster with my uh, body max dumbbells. But yeah, no, they are pretty, pretty good. I mean, at the end of the day, they're just dumbbells, right? But they're great. They save space. They're not that expensive, really, if you think. So my old club in London, 
it used to be 150 pounds a month membership so you know if you've been going to that club for a couple of years uh, um, you know that's like thousands of pounds so I think my entire gym sets up including like the squat rack the bumper plates the bar uh, the jump the plyo box mat flooring um, landmine row um, it's probably about 1500 pounds even including these dumbbells so actually okay it does sound like a lot of money but you know, even if you're only paying 40 or 50 pounds a month after three years, as long as you've got the space for it, you're going to be quids in um, and you actually own it as well. So you can always like sell it at a later date, you can place it with new stuff um, and then you don't have to go anywhere. So the advantage of all this is I have it in my house, I can you know, train clients with it if I want to. Uh, for myself, I literally get out of bed, I go downstairs into the garage or into the barn gym whilst I've got it here um, and, I'm just, and I'm there, I'm in my gym, I'm ready to work out and it's just like, yeah, it's just nice. There's no kind of worry about oh, the gym's going to shut soon, or I've left my uh, clothing or my gym kit at home, I've got to go back home, and then I've got to slug them out to the gym. It's literally, okay, right, no excuses, get up, head to the gym, boom. And that was just me procrastinating from doing set number two. Exercise number five, shoulder press up. I may have overcooked this a little bit. I'm going for 18 kilograms on each side. Oh, okay, these are quite big, so it's gonna get a bit weird getting used to it. So softening my knees from here, gotta push them above the head. You gotta be careful that I'm not gonna to touch above. And then let's press, controlling it down. Controlling them down. Yeah, so it feels a bit weird. Uh, it's actually more like I'm doing a military press because of the sheer size of them. So, you know, they're quite wide apart. Um, they're almost touching. So yeah, it, it's quite wide. You don't feel like there's a kind of actually over the shoulder. It feels like it's kind of a bit wider than that. But again, I'll probably get used to it. Yeah, you feel like you're super wide just because of the sheer size of them. But, uh, hard to talk. Yeah, it's work. whatever they are, they're working. I'll tell you that, they're working. So, all in all, absolutely thrilled to bits with the Body Max Selector Bell. I mean, it's early days yet, but I'd definitely give it a strong four and a half slash five out of five. I would say, um, you know, quality feels really good uh, on the whole. A little bit worried that, you know, say if they do get dropped, that they might break. That's the only reason why I'm giving it a four and a half. And also they are quite large. So when I'm doing like the lateral side raises uh, and the shoulder presses, they kind of do get in the way a little bit. But then again, you know, they are heavy dumbbells. It's the way that they're designed. Um, you know, you wouldn't be able to get 36 kilos on there if they weren't so large. And actually compared to other 36 kilos, they're about the same size. Uh, and obviously you've got all of those options all the way from two up to 36 in two kilogram increments. So loads of dumbbells, loads of space saved, loads of money saved. Couldn't recommend them enough. So if you did like this review and a little workout, please give me a like and subscribe for future videos. And if you've got any other products you may like to try out, uh, you know, like resistance bands or little massage balls, whatever you fancy, chuck it my way and I can put it for its paces and uh, let you know what I think. So thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So have a great day, a wonderful week. And I'll see you then.